In the last video we saw that we can nest rows here like this dashboard inside a folder and if we specify an underscore this folder name is not displayed in the URL. But you can also achieve the same with parentheses. So here everything that is inside this hidden folder folder will not show anything in the URL. For example this first level file if I go here on first level, you will find that I'm inside hidden folder first level, but obviously only first level is displayed here in the URL. And for sure, you can do the same with layouts. Let's give it a try. If I click here on layouts, I'm basically going inside this folder. And if I click on foo, I'm in this file that is defined here. So the file is inside roots, obviously, hidden folder, which is not in the URL layouts and visible layout, which obviously generates an entry here. So everything that is inside this visible layout folder will be replaced here in the place of this outlet component, but you can obviously have a common layout for all the pages. So this paragraph here is obviously on both pages, foo and bar. You can see the page is changing here and obviously in the URL. Now, what if you want to have a common layout, but you don't want the path visible here? Well, you can do basically the same with the same logic of the underscore. So now we're inside this file, which is again on hidden folder, layout, hidden layout, and the name of the file. So again, you can do the same trick and change page, super easy. But sometimes you might not want to nest everything. For example, if you want to create a structure that is more nested, like foo bar bath.tsx, well, this is perfectly fine if I go on foo bar but you see that this page is displayed but having to nest a couple folders only for one file might not be ideal so you can do the same with a dot so one dot two dot three dot yes x again I generate the file and you see that the root is again nested so that in the browser you can write the same and the root is working fine but your file structure is flat and the cool thing is that you can seamlessly mix nested folders with a flat structure and everything works just fine. One more thing I want to show you about nesting today is the handling of 404 pages. For example, if I go on a page that does not exist, you will find here a global not found, which is defined here, in my case on app.ts6, but in general where you define your create router. But sometimes you might want specific 404 pages depending on the nesting route. So if again I go on a page that does not exist, here you will find that I'm the not found page but inside visible layout. How can I do that? Here we are in the visible layout, so as you might guess, it might be somewhere around here. So layouts, visible layout, and here I specified a not found component which is render only when I'm inside this path and something goes wrong. And this is giving you pretty much all you need to add the basics of a consistent routing experience. But if you don't like nesting folders, well, Tanstack Router also works with code based routing, which basically is instead of defining each route in a separate file, you can have a single file with all the routes defined pretty much like you would do with React Router. And guess what? It's exactly the topic of the next video. So subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when the video will be out. Hit like if you like this video. It was short, but I hope also informative. And well, see you in the next video. Bye.